Today I'm going to be demonstrating various silicon graphics demos on a silicon graphics Indigo 2 maximum impact R10,000 machine. Before I get started with the demos, I'm quickly going to show you the machine's HINB. Okay, so this machine is equipped with a MIPS R10,000 CPU, revision 2.5, and it has the MIPS R10,010 floating point chip installed as well. The main memory size is 352 megabytes with one megabyte of instruction and data cache. The machine also has the maximum impact board set fitted. However, this board set is not equipped with the additional TRAMs, or the optional CRAM should I say, so it has one megabyte of texture memory installed at this point. The maximum amount of texture memory that can be installed in one of these board sets is four megabytes. So on to the demos. Okay, the demos that I'm going to be demonstrating to you today will be from the O2 demos as well as the Octane demos. I'm going to start off with some of the O2 demos, and I'm going to start off with Chrome skins. It's going to make the window a little bit wider. And there we go, we have the Chrome skins O2 demo running on a Indigo 2 maximum impact machine. Next, I'm going to cover the huge engine model. Again, I'm going to make the window bigger. And there we go. The performance on this demo isn't quite as good. I'm only getting 4.74 frames a second. But you have to remember that this machine is older than the machines that this demo was intended for. Okay, next I'm going to cover the underwater camera. So I'm going to go to options, high quality transparency, I'll set that on. And again, another rather detailed model, and it's handled by this machine rather effortlessly. Okay, so that covers the O2 demos that I want to demonstrate. Next, I'm going to demonstrate some Octane demos. And I'm going to start off with A10. So this type of demonstration was intended for a much more powerful machine as the Octane was the, should I say, next evolution from this machine. And there we go. So it's not bad performance if you consider the age of this machine. Another interesting thing to note about the Indigo 2 Maximum Impact is that this board set was the most powerful desktop graphics available in 1996. Okay, so that covers that demo. Next, I'm going to cover DI Guy. And this demo also runs pretty well on this machine. I'm going to wait for it to get to a larger area just to show the performance. And there we go. 
So I'd say it's pretty decent performance for machines such as this one. Okay, I'm going to quit that demo. Next, I'm going to demonstrate Egghead to you. See how this one goes. Also, not too bad a performance for this machine. So in the Indigo 2 Maximum Impact, you get a rather capable silicon graphics machine. It's certainly not as powerful as some of the other machines available, but it is perfectly capable of giving you a good RX experience. No crash here. <laughs> See if I can make it into the town. Oh no. Okay, that concludes that demo. Okay, so that pretty much concludes the demos that I want to demonstrate on this machine. This just shows you that the Silicon Graphics Indigo 2 Maximum Impact R10,000 is a pretty decent SGI machine and one well worth having in your collection. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.